Hello, my name is Yuliza, and today we'll be learning about the meninges. The meninges protect the brain and spinal cord from trauma. They also support the blood vessels and form a continuous cavity through which the cerebral spinal fluid passes. There are three layers that make up the meninges. There is the dura matter, the arachnoid matter, and the pia matter. The dura matter is the outermost layer and it's mostly made of tough, white, dense connective tissue and it contains many blood vessels and nerves. It attaches to the inside of the cranial cavity and forms internal periosteum of the surrounding skull bones. In some regions, the dura matter forms supportive and protective partitions in the brain as well as channels that go from the brain to the heart. It continues into the vertebral canal as a strong tubular sheath that surrounds the spinal cord. Next, we have the arachnoid matter. The arachnoid matter is a thin web-like membrane that doesn't have any blood vessels and is located between the dura and pia matters. It spreads over the brain and spinal cord but doesn't dip into any grooves and depressions on their surfaces. In between the arachnoid and pia matters is the subarachnoid space which contains the clear, watery, cerebral spinal fluid. It surrounds the brain and spinal cord and it protects it by absorbing forces that might damage these delicate tissues. Next we have the pia matter. The pia matter is the innermost layer of the meninges. It's a thin membrane that contains many nerves as well as blood vessels that nourish the underlying cells of the brain and spinal cord. It attaches to the surface and follows the irregular contours of those organs. Meningitis is not part of the layers of the meninges. It is an inflammation of the meninges which is caused by either bacterial or viral infection of the CFS. When the membranes become infected, they swell and press on the spinal cord or brain. This can cause life-threatening problems. Meningitis symptoms strike suddenly and worsen very quickly. This can be preventable by vaccines that are now widely available. And that is it for the meninges. Thank you so much for watching.